Okay, greetings everyone. This is First and Thorian Seven Fifty Three. The next episode of Geopolitical Simulator Four: Power and Revolution. Good morning. Playing as Western Colombia, milk from the Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, this is not gonna trade with anybody. Um, done with you. I'll meet with you, but I won't trade with you. We've got rebels throughout the entire country because I raised patience. I raised raised patience. I raised the uh, salary on. Uh, a bunch of public workers, I guess, as soon as I did that. These are like cultists, right? Crazy cultists. I don't want to deal with these crazy cultists. This is annoying. Let's see how this works. Hunt them down. Oh my god, sorry. So I had to adjust my seat there. Excuse me. And uprising. Put down? Yes. Good. Alright, are there other uprisings? We have subdued the rebel. Bogota. What's going on financially? I've spent a lot of money in the last episode. I'm wondering if I did anything wrong. Budget excess is still an enormous amount. 40% of our GDP. GDP coefficient is going down. That's good. It was at 55. Um, we have a huge treasury reserve. And not huge. Huge. Oh, am I not playing? Huge treasury reserve. Problem with minister. I hate dealing with those minister cabinet management stuff. That just seems like nuance. Not nuance. Uh, trivial. Seems trivial. Uh, what do I have here? Radical member. Going to that city. Pacifist. Pacifist? Ah, oh, this is a pain. We just gotta send more uh, police in there, I guess. Bring in police reinforcements. Do it. Do it. Go on television, see if anything happens there. We're not starting a war with anybody. Why do they need passes? Oh my god, look at these people. Fight through and arrest. Fight through and make the arrests. Oh no. Bring in the army. Wow. A bunch of them came in and overran us. We're going to need to bring in some uh, police reinforcements there. Wow. Sheesh. Alright. Trouble. Trouble. Press play. Should be getting some new quarterly reports coming in. Police officer killed. No. Uh. Say whether it was good or bad. Any other rebellions in our country? I think that's it, right? Just the two riots? Not rebellions, riots. Fire this away. The situation is not in our favor. I Let's see what's going on here. Go ahead, intervene. China discovers fiber optics. I think we beat them to fiber optics. Huh? So much easier to intervene with the military. But it does cost you some of your popularity. <laughs> but we can always get that back with uh, housing subsidies and uh, dilapidated houses and stuff like that. Improving dilapidated houses. See, that's like just annoying. Just, why does it have to go to that? I'm trying to click on this. Look at him. The rest of the guy. There we go. You're taking the police station. Arrest that man. And you take the bank is ours. Down to 88. Whew. That's rough. I will get out of here. There it is. Uh, which one did I do? This one's almost over. That's when I was in. Alright, let's go fast forward here. Let's get through this budget surplus, and then... I'll build uh, some more houses. Or I'll refurbish the left of the houses. Happiness! 
is people seem to be very happy by comparison to the rest of the world. How do you like that? That sounds good. Bargain concluded. Oh, that was for the agent. We have a mole. Oh no, not cholera. Oh crap. Yes. Quarantine that sucker. Okay, housing. Let's give us another 20,000 approved houses. Good. Two, 27, uh, 270. 270. Appear on TV. Maybe I'll put it into that. State of emergency due to hunger? Oh, come on. Many people watched your talk. Nah, I do need to go buy food for people. What? Refuse. Oh, that wasn't me. I thought that was, uh... Slow down. I just increased everyone's salary and it caused uh, uprisings across the board. I'm gonna deal with the food situation. We have subdued the rebel. All right, let's meet with Brazil. They gotta have some food. Protesters dispersed. Ugh, cholera outbreak. Fine, I'll do a salary increase. If I get more rebellions, I'm gonna be pissed. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year base. That's pretty good. Wow. 7% increase. And uprisings across the board. Uh, police reinforcements. Let's go in here and take out this crap. There's like nobody here. Bogota overrun everybody. All right, Bogota's easy to put down. These other yes, places need. No. Can I meet with Brazil? Okay. Coffee. Sure. It's Colombia. Coffee, strong, coffee. Please. All right. I love your country. And you're right. It is the most beautiful country. Good. In the world. Egotistical. I like that. Next time, come and visit my summer residence. I'll show you the countryside. Mm, take you up on that, there, buddy. Create a sales agreement. All right. I gotta go through all these uh, areas where we're not. We don't have any food. All right. Apples. Let's check that out. Apples. We don't have enough food. We don't have enough apples. I need some apples. I should have gone lower. We got the apples. Now let's see. Beef. We got plenty of beef. Cereals, probably a problem. Yeah, big problem here. I don't have enough. I gotta go to Peru for the cereals. What else is a big consumer food consumption product? Fish. We got plenty of fish. Foul. 
be on a foul. Grapes. Plenty of grapes. Maze. We need maze. Yeah, I want maze. Got our maze. Booyah. That should be good there. What's next? We need cereals still. Got the corn. Milk. They're not going to give us milk. Oranges. Got oranges. Pork. Got pork. Potatoes. Got potatoes. Rice. We're good with rice. Sheep. Plenty of sheep. I think that's it. Vegetables. We have no vegetables, neither do they. Alright, so we need cereal, which we get from Peru, and vegetables. I don't know where I'm going to get those from. Thank you, Brazil. Let's see if we can do a non aggression pact with you so we don't have to worry about you invading. No, nope, not yet. Okay. Okay, and all right. So that's a step in the right direction. And I think uh, the next step is Peru. Meeting request with them. They have the cereal we need. What if Ecuador has vegetables? I don't know. Meet with them too. That's good because we have trade agreements with them. So uh, we're in a trade union with them, free trade zone. And now we've uh, established agreements, so uh, no tariffs. Economy should be going in the right direction. And buying at cheaper prices hopefully will lower inflation, which is already down to 123, which is great compared to where we were. And the growth is up to 10% again. Unemployment down to 4%. This is pretty good, looking pretty good. Gaining some strength here economically. Let's go here. Right, what is going on in this? Stupid city. Bring in the police reinforcements. I didn't do that. I thought I did that. International meeting. Uprising. First victims. Got some crazy, crazy people going on here. The, the rioters. I, I don't want to hear. Just, oh, come on. Bogota again. Over what? Wow. Look at all those people. I'm not going to go into that one. We should be able to take care of this pretty easily. Because there's so many of our own police force here. Right. That's what I thought. Come on. Click on the guy. Do it. Click. User interface sometimes is really annoying in this game. I just got to send in troops. Not yet. We still got some more. Oh my god, look at this mob. I've actually got tanks. It's like impossible to do. Almost got everyone arrested. That guy threw something at us. 
Like a Molotov cocktail. Okay, I clicked on it. Let's click again. Uh, more riders coming out of like nowhere. What is with this? Down to 84, 86%. All right, meeting with Purdue, Peru, Purdue, coffee. Sure. Lovely country. Very kind. And let's see, I know you have cereal. Let me go ahead and buy some cereal from you. I need 5,000. Try again. I'm not gonna be able to get all our cereal from Peru. Made a deal for cereal. Vegetables? You got any vegetables there? No vegetables. I am out. Alright, that's good. Uh, military Alliance with Peru. I'll have to go with a non-aggression pact with you. Nope, that can happen. Alright, end meeting. Okay. Politician, is this somebody else? Dear compatriots, I address you from the studios of the main national television network that is now under our control. Oh my god. Crazy. Crazy people. Slow that down. Yemen declares war on Saudi Arabia. Whew. Jeez. Saudi Arabia ultimatum against Yemen. Got some action going on there. I don't need to get involved. President of Ecuador, we should meet with him. Coffee. No thanks. Oh. My ultra can't take it. The one guy in South America. You didn't make me. Wow, we don't have good relations with them, and they have human rights violations. Uh, cancel this. All right, you better have cereal or vegetables, or you're useless to me. Um, they don't have any cereal. And do they have any vegetables? Nope. All right, no good. Ecuador is worthless. See. You. Uh, let's see, Colorado Academic. Quarantine zone maintenance affected by the disease greatly impacts our economy. I'm not a doctor, but by but on top of paralyzing part of the country, it's costing us 28.5 billion per week. I wonder if it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Damn it, quarantine people. Wear your masks. Put your masks on. Well, they don't need masks for cholera, but clean the water. Enemies are storming the building. Good lord, this is a mess. Alright, it's been 20 minutes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Um, you can back the channel on Patreon, down in the link below. You can also post comments and suggest new videos or new series or new games to be played on the channel in the comments section down below. Everyone stay healthy and stay safe. See you guys in the next episode.